Hi there. In this video, we'll share our experience skiing on the Great Northern Ski Trail in January of 2023. In order to get to the trailhead from K1 Lodge, you will need to take Express Gondola which brings you right to the top of Killington Peak. For your convenience, this video has chapters, and depending on your preferences, you can jump to the specific chapter of your interest without watching the entire video. If you haven't been at the Killington Ski Resort yet and are not familiar with the Great Northern Trail, we would highly recommend you to watch the entire video till the end, so that you can get familiar with all parts of this trail, and finally, see real-time experience of skiing on this trail and similar weather conditions. Great Northern Ski Trail is perhaps one of the best ski trails in Killington Ski Resort. Great Northern Trail is one of a few blue trails that offers the easiest way to get from the Killington Peak down to the K1 Lodge without taking black trails that are much steeper and more difficult in icy conditions. As you can see in this video, we captured Great Northern Trail on a foggy day with outside temperature being around 32 degrees and with snow being made on the upper part of this trail. While we really enjoyed the first half of this trail, the second part wasn't that great due to huge amount of slush present at the slopes of Snowden Mountain located on the right side. If you like fast speed skiing, it might be a good idea to go slow during your first ride and then adjust your speed depending on trail conditions. The entire trail has blazes that are easy to read in good conditions but in case of low visibility, you can make stops to check out your location in the Killington mobile app, and after that, proceed to the final destination, which is K1 Lodge. While this video was captured on a foggy day and some parts of it do not give a great visibility into trail conditions, we thought to share it for those of you who will be skiing in similar weather conditions.
As we already mentioned, we really enjoyed the first part of the trail, but the second part, or more specifically an area close to the Bunny Buster Tunnel as well as part of the trail that goes to the Green Blaze, wasn't a great experience because of the slushy and wet snow, which as you may know, could be very difficult to ski in. On a slushy snow, the ski isn't well supported and tends to sink in, making it more difficult to maneuver the skis through the wet, heavy slush. On top of that, wet snow sometimes can become sticky and therefore can slow you down, especially if you are moving at a high speed. Just because slush isn't ideal for skiing and snowboarding, it doesn't mean that you cannot have fun riding it though. We won't tell you that riding slush is great, but if you are an average skier, we would recommend maybe to go to ski school or other source of your choice and learn more information about right mindset, skills, and techniques that you can use while skiing and snowboarding on slushy snow. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you will have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments section below this video and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Please do not forget to check trail status and conditions in advance. We found that some ski trails were closed during our visit, that is why we have planned our route from peak to bottom in advance. If you enjoyed this video, Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel to watch new episodes.